A fabricator and a welder are two different people. A welder is not a fabricator, but a fabricator is a welder. So let me break this down to you, family. You have many people who just want to learn the welding trade as far as running good beads, doing pipe welding, doing structural welding, and all they do is weld. They know what the weld looks like, they know how to get the weld in, and they combination of welders. Now, when it comes to fabrication, now you got to start reading the tape measure. Now you got to know how to level and square. Now you got to know how to plumb things with the eye. Now you got to know how to read certain blueprints to know how to build. You have to know uh, certain uh, fundamentals when it comes to using uh, the grinder and different buffing pads and, you know, things of that nature. You know, you have to literally be more shop uh, illiterate. You have to know how to use the cutting torch and the plasma torch. You got to know how to use these things to your advantage, how to gouge out wells, uh, how to put in small wells, how to just, you know, it's, it's a few more variables that comes in being a fabricator, being a good fabricator at that, being able to see certain things and knowing how to fix it and knowing what is needed and knowing what type of material and how much material to order when you're doing a material list. It's a lot of things that come into being a fabricator. Now, a welder doesn't have to put all those variables in. Now, he do need to know what type of rods and gases he, he's running with certain things, but the fabricator, the fabricator, normally the fabricator will outwork the welder. And I say that, I mean by the fabricator or stay in business longer than the welder. Now, I have known many welders that had to have downtime, and I know many fabricators work around the clock because if they're not doing sticking, doing certain things, they MIG in the flux form, or they building this or making that. So a welder fabricator can have a longer lifespan than just a welder alone. So learn everything, fam. Learn how to use equipment, uh, learn how to read shop drawings, uh, learn how to troubleshoot, learn how to fix issues, fix issues. If there's a problem, learn how to go in and fix, take out something and put something in to keep it going, maintenance. Learn all of these things because all of those things makes a good fabricator, not only a welder. Hold on.